Hi. The spam review. I was talking to a couple of people online yesterday and we were talking about spam. And a long time since I tried this. Well, quite a few years ago it was very popular at spam fritters. So slices of spam in a crispy batter. Made it even worse, I suppose. But uh, I remember a couple of years ago buying a tin to see what it was like, and ah, uh, no. So, one of the shops sells this, so I thought, give it a go. And this one, spam with garlic, so I thought, like garlic, maybe it makes it palatable, I don't know. So, looking at the back of the tin, Lift and pull, squeeze until it pops. For my luck, I probably squeeze it and it'll be gone. Um, tap and squeeze. And slice and fry, although here it says grill, bake, microwave, or eat cold. So let's do the first bit. <laughs> First bit. Woo, don't have to have a tin opener. Gonna pull it open. Ah, That's that off. The spam. And the first thing that itches is the smell that comes up. Oh boy. You can smell the uh, garlic. But there's sure something in there with it. Right now I've got to squeeze it. Well I'm squeezing but... <clears throat> Unless I'm squeezing it blinking wrong. If it's popping up it definitely takes the sides away from the, the edge. But I have a knife. So I'm just going to cut a little tiny bit out for the sake of this review and try it. Now I was told that uh, the Hawaiians love this stuff and that whatever that will stick it on anything. Cup of coffee with a slice of spam in it please. Now I'm going to have a go. Good luck me. Mmm, garlic's nice. It's tasty in the sense it's, uh, I would say, salty. That probably covers a multitude of sins. Apart from that, you could eat it. Very processed. Very pork and ham mushed up and stuck in a tin. But I'll tell you something, that is flipping salty. So apparently there's echo a lot of fat in these. If the fat don't get you the salt probably will. I may go away and fry some and we'll see what we think. But Spam, 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 spam and eggs, spam and sausage. Anyway, you either like it or you don't. And if you're wine, you'll treasure it. <sighs> yeah. Hi, okay, back again. Fried spam. So I'm just going to try it. Mm. Actually, it's a lot better. <clears throat> I don't know why. Very strange. 
might be because it's in bread, but yeah, it's, it's better. I could pick out with that. Looking at the tin, I looked it up yesterday. Excuse me while I'm chewing. I uh, looked it up yesterday. It's definitely an American invention. And I knew it had something to do with Denmark. When I look at the tin, it's produced for Tulip Limited UK, which is a UK company. Produced in Denmark under license from, if I get the word right, Omel, which is a, I believe, American company. I haven't read the ingredients to find out exactly what's in it, but there you go. Cold, pretty, <coughs> cooked, fried, somehow it transformed it. So I will eat the rest of the tin. God bless my stomach. The choice is yours. <laughs> Bye.